Welcome to module 37. Last time we introduced uh, the notion of local connectivity and local path connectivity. And proved a few results there. So today we will examine a number of you know illustrative examples. Either they are counterexamples or they are positive examples and so on. The first example is what you have already met. Okay, it's very easy to state, which will be locally connected but not locally path connected. This is very easy to state, namely the cofinite topology on say take set of integers or natural numbers and any countably infinite set. Okay, countability is important, infinite also important. Okay, if you talk, don't take uh, infinite, finite set, the co cofinite topology will be discrete topology. A discrete topology with more than one point is neither connected or nor uh, path connected, but surprisingly, because points are open, this is both locally path connected as well as path connected, locally path connected. So I am not interested in discrete topology. All right. So the first thing is every non empty open set will intersect every other non empty open set in the cofinite topology because complements are finite, right? So, a finite set cannot com contain another set which is its, its complement is finite. That is not possible when the whole thing is infinite. So, any two open sets intersect, therefore, there is no separation. Okay, that means that the space is connected. Similarly, it is locally connected also because every open set will be also the same property. You can't separate it out. You take any open set that itself will serve as a connected neighborhood. Inside that, you have to take connect. It's already connected, right? The subspace topology on a on a open set is again the cofinite topology only and it is uh, uncountable uh, sorry it is countable and infinite therefore this space is locally connected and connected however we claim that every continuous function omega from closed interval 0 1 into this space is a constant once we prove that, it follows that two distinct points cannot be connected by a path. Okay. So we are going to prove that strongly that the connect path connected components of the space are singletons. Okay. Strongly disconnect, path disconnected in that sense. Okay. So let us see how we prove this one. Suppose you have a path which is non-constant. That means what? The image should contain at least two points. Okay. Every point in X is a closed point. Singleton X is closed. Why? Because the complement is open. That's all. Okay. It would follow that the closed interval 0, 1 is a countable disjoint union of proper closed sets. What are those closed sets? Just take omega inverse of singletons. 
क्लोज सेटिंग रिटर्न्स आर क्लोज ओमेगा 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 इज कंटीन्यूअस ओमेगा यूनिवर्स इज ओके क्लोज सबसेट एज एक्स रे इज ओवर इट्स इमेज ऑफ ओमेगा वाई मस्ट बी इमेज ऑफ ओमेगा कंटेंट इन साइड एक्स टेक द डिसजॉइंट यू नो दिस आर द फाइबर्स आफ्टर ऑल सो दे आर डिसजॉइंट राइट डिसजॉइंट यूनियन ईच ऑफ देम इज क्लोज what is y y is omega of 0 1 the image the points are varying over y okay there are at least two of them okay 0 1 has been written as disjoint union of closed sets okay one thing is clear namely this y cannot be finite why if this y is finite This will give you a partition of zero one, but zero one is connected, so there is no partition. Okay, there is no separation. This will give you a separation, so that is not possible. All right, because once if there are finitely many, you take one of them, everything is closed. The finite union of other things also closed, so you, you can write a disjoint union of uh, two clo non-empty closed subsets. Then that's that's over. but if it is infinite then there is no contradiction okay so zero one may be uh, connected but you can always write it as disjoint union of singleton sets for example singleton sets are closed so that is not a contradiction okay so what we are going to prove is somehow i want to get a contradiction to such a description first thing is i notice y has to be infinite but what i am going to prove is the following a general statement no closed interval ab a less than b is a countable disjoint union of proper closed sets y being a subset of x x being countable this y will be countable okay therefore immediately this description is not possible is a conclusion when i take ab to be the interval 0 1 so this is a general statement i am going to prove in this way in this one i am assuming that countable means finite also which we have seen that finiteness is not possible that is easy because all intervals are connected so the point is now countable is not possible is what we have to see okay so here we will have to use bars category theorem in a clever way so that is give you an opportunity to use bars category theorem so watch out suppose you have ab equal to disjoint union of fn's where each fn is a closed proper subset of ab okay You see, if fns are empty and one of them is ab, then there is no contradiction. So they must be proper. That is important. Proper means what? Non-empty as well as not the whole space. Take d n equal to the boundary of fn. By this I mean the boundary points of fn inside ab. They are all subspaces of ab now. The usual topology of ab. Take d n as boundary of fn. And take this d equal to union of all these dns. Okay. Note that since ab is connected, and each fn is a closed subset of ab, no fn is open. If fn is open, what happens? If one of them fn is open. what happens it is also closed i have assumed right each of fn is closed to begin with so proper non empty closed and open subset will contradict so since they are closed they are not open is a consequence okay so when you take interior interior is a strictly smaller subset than fn when you throw away the interior from fn what you get is the boundary Because fn's are already closed, I don't have to take the closure. 
Remember what is the boundary points? Boundary points are closure minus the interior. So closure is F in itself, interior is empty. Sorry, interior is not the whole space. So interior may not be empty, but you throw away the interior. Dn's boundary of Fn's are non-empty. Boundary of Fn's would have been empty if Fn is open also. Therefore, each Dn is non-empty. Boundary of a subset is always a closed subset of the set. The set is closed, so these are all closed subsets of it. Okay, Dn's are non-empty closed subsets. Okay, it also follows that dn is infinite but but we are not actually using this fact okay dns are infinite means what each of them i have proved that they are non empty and to begin with i have taken th these things are infinite we should, this is finite then we are already know that the case is over okay but this fact we are not going to use okay right now our argument will include this also anyway so each dn is non empty closed subset right but now we have lost because these dns don't cover ab right the fns are covering ab now i have taken smaller subsets so what do i do with them take d which is equal to union of all dns right how do you get dns by deleting the interiors of each fn right therefore this ab minus interior of all fns is precisely equal to d okay therefore this is a closed subset of ab therefore it's a complete metric space now using bears category theorem we will arrive at a contradiction how do you use bears category theorem namely if we show that each dn has empty interior inside d okay then the proof will be over this is very important because dns are boundary of fn i have removed the all the interior points there so you may say it is over no no these interior points were inside ab now i have a different subspace we have this subspace namely d i am applying the bears category theorem to this complete metric space d so i have to show that each dn has empty interior inside d okay then the bears category theorem says that countable union of such things are again no random they can't be the whole of d okay so that is the end of the proof right so let us go ahead how to show that dn has empty interior okay take any point in dn show that no by the way what is the topology topology is coming from r right from ab everything is subspace of r right so take a open interval around a point intersect it with d if it's contained inside dn that will be the interior okay take an interval intersect it with d show that that is not contained inside dn then you will follow you will follow that interior of dn is empty so this should be able to do for every point of dn what is dn boundary of fn take a point and take an interval around that one by the definition of boundary okay j must in, boundary now i am using fn point of dn is a point of fn also but it's a boundary point of fn first you use that property that dn is a boundary of fn okay by the definition of boundary j must intersect both fn and complement of fn right 
so it intersects the complement of fn where inside the the closed interval ab okay hence must contain some point of some other fm because the entire ab is written as disjoint union of fn's if a subset is not contained inside one particular fn it must intersect some other fm m not equal to n okay now suppose j does not intersect the dm boundary of fm dm is boundary of fm okay that means that it intersects interior of fm all right it intersects fm it doesn't intersect the boundary so what is left out it must be interior of fm must be but then what happens interior of fm this interior is taken inside uh, inside the closed interval ab remember that interior of fm is an open set complement of fm is also an open set if you take j intersection this and j intersection that that will be the whole of j intersection ab i have not written uh, ab here because i am taking the interval j itself inside the interval ab okay so therefore this will this will give you a separation of j and that is a contradiction therefore this j i said j must intersect dm the boundary of m okay so what has happened i started with an interval around a point in dn that intersects dm m not equal to n but these are disjoint sets right therefore this j is not contained inside dn so there is a point d after all all of dm is also contained inside d so j intersection d there is a point here which is not inside dn this shows that dn has empty interior inside d and that proves that no closed interval can be written as a countable union of disjoint you know closed subsets proper closed subsets in particular the cofinite topology on a countable set is what happens is not path connected every path component is a singleton let me give you some other examples now this is called the broom space let me show you the picture here and then explain so i start with a closed interval so let us call this 0 to 1 okay here i take the line segment between 0 0 and 1 comma 0 in the plane so this is 1 by 2 sorry this is 1 comma 0 uh, what 0 you know is 1 comma 1 this is 1 comma 0 so 0 0 and this is 1 comma 1 this is 1 by 1 comma 1 by 2 this is 1 comma 1 by 3 this is 1 comma 1 by 4 and so on, dot 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 so 1 comma 1 by n approaching 1 comma 0 here all those points join to 0 0 so it looks like a broom huh? this is a broom space this is the closed subset of r cross r it is closed and bounded also okay it whole thing is contained inside the square i cross i clearly it is star shaped at this point right take any point there is a line segment to this point therefore this is path connected therefore this is connected so why this example is there for the reason that you know take a point here on the x axis 0 to 1 say let us take this itself 
namely 1 comma 0 if you take any neighborhood of that take a ball around that and intersect with this one you will have lots of these line segment disjoint sets no matter how small this ball you are taking okay it is going to be intersection with this space will be disconnected infinitely many line segments will be there along with a small line segment on the x-axis so at this point it is not locally connected or locally path connected the same thing holds for all the points here except the point 0 0 at 0 0 it's clear if you take any neighborhood then you can take a small ball around that then it will be star shaped again so there is no problem okay so that is the broom space here so it is path connected it is not locally path connected at any point actually on the x axis except 0 0 at least 1 0 it's easy all right so let us go to slightly more complicatedness namely what i do i take a small copy of the broom space here again i have not drawn all these lines here they are there inside Okay, so this is the broom space B. So instead of 0 to 1, I have made it 0 to half here. Okay, this is 0, 0. This is half 0. This is 3, 4, 0 and so on. Take half of each time. Take the side also like this also make it half. Keep making half half like that. So, this will go ad infinitum, infinitely many of these things will be there, okay, along with this just point will be there, last one, there is nothing there left out. If you come slightly out of that point, you will have lots of brooms here, infinitely many brooms, okay. So, this is again, the whole thing is contained inside I cross I. Okay, and it is a closed subspace. Remember, I have drawn these. There are from 1 by 2, one, this is 1, this is 1 by 2, comma, 1 by 2. You can join them. You have joined them. All those things are there. So this is iterator broom space. So here I have defined it. Denote the broom space defined above by B in the first one. Scale it down by a factor of 1 by 2 power n and shift it at the point 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1 comma 0. So all these points approaching 1 comma 0 to obtain Bn. Let B twiddle be the point 0, 1 comma 0 has to be there. Okay. You, you take that one union all the Bn's. Okay. Now show that every open connected subset of B twiddle which contains 1 comma 0 contains the entire segment 0 1 comma 0 okay the entire line segment the x axis x axis part however show that every neighborhood of 1 comma 0 contains a connected neighborhood and hence B twiddle is weakly locally connected at the point 1 comma 0 but not locally connected at the point 1 comma 0. If you want an open connected set you will have a problem. If you do not want open sub connected set just a connected subset they are there. This is the whole idea. So let us try to see this one, at least some part. Well, after all, I have left this as an exercise to you, but let me ex just explain. The first part is to show that every open connected subset B twiddle, uh, 
which contains 1 comma 0 contains the whole line segment therefore it cannot be arbitrary small that's all you can't have a connected open subset which is arbitrary small if you show that one so how do you show that go to this picture I want to take an open connected subset. So, what you have to do? Take a open ball around this one. Which you have taken open ball around this one, right? And intersect in this space. As soon as you take an open ball around this one, infinitely many of these triangles uh, or these uh, booms are already contained inside this one. Okay. Nevertheless, what happens? Because it is an open thing, okay. Suppose you have come up till here, there will be always a line from here to here, half going. So, this is precisely what I have to at some point, okay. Suppose this point is there, then a small neighborhood of that point must be there in your open set, then all the line segments should be there. So, in order that those line segments are connected, you have to go to the base of this. You have to go to the base of that broom. That means, suppose once you have, suppose this one is uh, 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 power n minus 1, somewhere here. This point is there, means there is a small neighborhood around that one is there. Then there will be line from here to this point. Therefore, this point is there. Okay. So, you just keep the, this whole line segment will be there because it is connected. There is no other way to connect this point and this point. Now, once this point is there, a small neighborhood around that will be there because I am assuming openness, open connectedness. Then there will be some line here, some point here and the line all the way up to this one. So, this way you will end up here this entire line segment will have to be there in any connected open subset containing any of these points in particular 1 comma 0 okay you will have to shape backwards forward you don't have to worry so if you take a neighborhood here you don't go forward but you go all the way here that is the point so for a 1 comma 0 the whole line segment will be there all right so, connected open set is a problem. On the other hand, take a point here, then 1 comma 0, take a neighborhood. Now, do not go backwards. Look at wherever you have stopped uh, up till here. Okay, That will be connected neighborhood. That is not an open set. You just take the broom only. Do not take all these points. Up to broom you take. Okay, everything forward. So that will be connected neighbor. <laughs> it's a neighborhood because a smaller open subset will be there. A smaller open subset will be there, which is not connected. But this is connected and it is contained in the original neighborhood. Therefore, this is lo weakly locally connected at this point. Okay, and not locally connected. All right, I come back to the topology sign curve. Now it will be very easy, but we will have to just uh, sum it up. The topology sign curve, we see that it is connected, but not path connected that we have seen. Now take any point P on the y axis part. Okay, x, x coordinate 0, y coordinate is some point P and take epsilon to be less than half just for being uh, safe. Then the ball B epsilon P intersect with the topology sign curve X consists of infinitely many disjoint arcs on the graph. For the same reason that we have discussed for the broom space, what happens is the topology sign curve is not connected at any point, locally connected at any point on the y-axis. 
Okay, let us uh, have a picture of this one first here. So, on the y axis here, you take any ball around here, it should not, ball should not be such that it contains the, the line segment here and line segment here uh, at, at uh, y equal to 1 and y equal to minus 1. So, I take the ball of say epsilon, epsilon by 2 so, or 1 by 2, less than epsilon 1 by less than 1 by 2. Take a ball here, let us magnify it, okay. So magnify it and look at it. What you look at it, this may be the, your point and that means epsilon ball. You let all these curves, okay, part of the curves, what curve? Sin pi by x curve. Going and going like this, I have drawn this one thick line. This is not a thick line, this is just a line. There are infinitely many lines like this, infinitely many arcs like this coming. That's why it looks thick. That's all. If you, uh, uh, if you again magnify this, taking a small uh, ball here, it will have the same picture again. There will be infinitely many components there. So this is locally not even connected. So it is not locally path connected either for every point on the x, y axis. So this is similar to the broom space there, okay? But it has this property also is what we wanted to tell you that. Thus, let us consolidate what are the things that we have done for topology sine curve. It is neither locally connected nor locally path connected, just now we saw. The topology sine curve serves as an example or you can say counter example to show that connectedness does not imply path connectedness local path connectedness or even local connectedness because it's a connected space but it is neither of any of these things the closure of a path connected set need not be path connected because the sign part sign graph the graph of sign uh, sine x part is connected part its closure is the whole space and that is not path connected so finally analog of 3. 34 is not valid for path connectedness. What was NL 3.4? 3.4 is said that if the bottom space is connected, the fibers are connected of a quotient map, then the top space is connected. So if you replace path connected everywhere, if you if you connectedness is replaced by path connectivity, the theorem as such is false. So that is the meaning of this one. So all these things we have seen. Okay, now I will come to another important part here. Maybe that is the last part for today. How to use connectivity positively to derive some, some interesting results. Okay, so, so here is something. Look at the the intersection of, I mean, union of the two axes, x axis and y axis. If you are bothered about the two big and so on, cut it off mod x less than equal to y, mod y less than equal to 1. Mod x less than equal to 1, mod y less than equal to 1. Okay. So this is just x axis and y axis, minus 1 to plus 1, minus 1 to plus 1. You can feel that this space is not homeomorphic to an interval. You know, this is also compact matrix space, this is also compact matrix space. So, whatever topological property that you have seen so far will not be of any use other than connectivity. Both of them are connected also. Both of them are path connected. Okay. So, what is that? How to use connectivity to show that it is not homeomorphic to a closure interval, minus 1 plus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 I take because just mod. You can take any closed interval. They are all homeomorphic to each other, but they are not homeomorphic to this space X. Okay. So how to see that? Suppose you have a homeomorphism from here to here. Now take a point here. Take its image. The image is one point. Remove both of them from 
from their spaces. Namely, from the domain, you remove this point. Co-domain, you remove its, its image. Remove that. Then the homeomorphism, whatever call it, call F, restricts to the subspaces. That will be homeomorphism again. A homeomorphism from X to Y restricts to a homeomorphism from A to FA for any subspace FA. Okay. So that is easy to see. That is what I am going to use here. My A will be minus 1 plus 1 minus 0. Then that A we know is disconnected, has two components. Right? Right? If I go here, will it always have two components? That is the point, right? So what I want to do, immediately I see one way, nice way of looking at it. Namely, remove 0, 0 from here. The point of intersection of the two lines. Immediately you see that there are four path connected components for the complement. So, take a homeomorphism this way, other way around, F x2 minus 1 plus 1. Remove the origin here, remove the image of that here, image of that may be any point, I don't know which point. I am just removing one point from minus 1 to plus 1. What do I get? If the point I removed is the end points, then the space is still connected, path connected. If it happens to be some somewhere between, namely minus 1 less than fx less than 1, then it will have two components. But here I have four components. A homeomorphism has to induce what? By ejectivity of the connected components, by ejectivity of path connected components. So, what is wrong? Namely, our assumption is wrong that there is a homeomorphism from x to minus 1 plus 1. Okay. So, that is the gist of this one. x minus 0, 0 to minus 1 plus 1 minus f of 0, 0. That will be homeomorphism. This has four components. This has at most two components. Some case it may have one component. So that is a contradiction. Okay. Now I have listed the number of exercises. One of the exercises here, x 3.55, for example, is directly from this one, from the last example that I gave you. What did he say? Take, take. English capital letters, okay, as subspaces of your plane, namely R cross R, M, N, Z. Look at all these. I claim that they are all homeomorphic to each other. In fact, they are all homeomorphic to an interval. Easy to see that, right? You can straighten out these things. That is the meaning of after all. Topology, homeomorphism, but none of them is homeomorphic to the letter O. Can you see that why? If there is a homeomorphism here, you remove a point here from here. Okay, remove a point from here. What happens? That is still connected, right? But here, if the point has to be removed only from the interior. So, what you should do, start with homeomorphism here to here, take an interior point here, remove it, there will be two components. No matter what point you remove here, it has only one component from the circle, from the shape O. The shape O you can think of as a circle, it is homeomorphic circle. Remove one point is still connected. So, none of them is homeomorphic this one. So, this is another example I am giving you here. So, using this idea, what I am telling you is classify all letters 
that 20, 26 letters up to homeomorphism. Okay, enjoy this uh, exercise. There are other things which you can have a look at it. Okay. So this exercise, for example, is about matrix spaces and uh, part of it, most of them are from linear algebra and little bit of analysis. But last one is GLN, SON, etc. Whatever you have uh, met last time, they are all locally path connected spaces. The previous exercise told you that they are connected. Therefore, they will be path connected. So the exercise here is to show that they are locally path connected. The challenge. So all these exercises, earlier exercises, will help you to solve that. Thank you. So let us close it here.